This is an example of how to create a GUI on an application uh, that can run on any platform. This is in response to the simple sort of display of information that Jeremy posted using Python. I'm going to use NetBeans IDE to create a fully functional GUI that actually will interact with a database. Note that I'm building this on a Mac, however, this will work on a Linux-based system. Now I'm connecting to a sample database that's installed on the system. You could easily connect to any other databases that are available to you. Or you can create your own. This is going to create a, an application which actually connects to a database which contains customers, and purchase order information. So this is the sample code that's created automatically to start our application. Here's just an example of the type of information you get on one particular pop-up. And this is a layout of our actual application. Notice at this point I haven't done any coding. We can try out our application and see how this works. The elements that you see in front of you are actually part of a visual design time, so you can actually add additional buttons, etc., just by simply dragging and dropping them or rearranging them. So at this point, we can see by just simply clicking on it what sort of information we have. The thing that's nice about this is not only does it show me the information and the details below, I can actually add it or edit any of that information as well. So I can make that thousand. And that information is now able to be saved. So now if I save it and I go back, next time I look, I'll find that they ordered a thousand of them. And that's our simple ap application. Notice we had that little pop-up which had an about. Here's the about section. We can create new objects, we can delete objects, we can refresh our data, or we can simply eg exit from the application. Again, so this is the visual design time, so we can decide if we want the buttons to lay out here, or we can move them to the other side of the application. Notice that there are little marks that appear that actually show you layout lines to show you whether the application is lined up correctly. So we'll move that over. It's showing the spacing.
we can see a visual representation without running the application by just clicking on it. And we can see that this is what it'll look like once we run it again. Save and run. And here we go. The buttons have been moved. All of the code, we can take a look at what the code actually looks like behind this. If you're interested in figuring out what it does, you can go through and take a look at what the different pieces are. This type of technology makes development of any Java-based application very, very easy and cross-platform. Thank you for your time.